Hey guys, so today I'm back with another Q&A after far too long. If at any point you guys do have a question for me, just randomly, feel free to jump over to my Tumblr and send me it there. Sometimes I'll respond to it in a blog post on Tumblr, and then other times I put it in an Ask Andrea video. So let's get started. Little Miss Costier said, I love animals, so I want to know, do you have any pets? And if so, what are they? And if not, is there any animal in particular you would like to keep as a pet? I don't have any pets right now, which is a really weird time in my life because I've had a pet my entire life. My parents had a dog, I grew up with a dog, and he was the love of my life and I miss him so much. I've also had hamsters, which I loved, but right now I just don't have time to take care of an animal and I don't have money to properly take care of an animal, so I don't have anything. In the future, I really, really want a puppy. I think I said this in an Ask Andrea before or in a video or Twitter or something. I think my dream dog would be a Yorkie. I've wanted one since I don't know how long. I haven't changed. That's my favorite kind of dog. But I also really like labs. You know, there's something about a big dog that you can just cuddle. So maybe, maybe one of each. That's my future. Dog lady. Eric Erlandson said, I was wondering what you think about writing in English with a goal of being published if your first language isn't English. I think it's a really great goal. Obviously, if you're not really fluent in a language, it's going to be really hard to have a chance to be published because it has to be something that the native speakers can read and really enjoy and not be worked up over little mistakes and stuff like that. And an editor can fix those mistakes, but it's going to be a lot of trouble and a lot of work. So it has to be pretty polished. But if you're fluent in English or whatever language you're trying to write in, I think it's a great goal. And for books in English or French or Spanish or Chinese or any language, Language that's very widely spoken, you're gonna have a really wide market to, to market that book to as well. Oh, why is it so hot? Eagle asks, what games did you get obsessed with in the past? What games apart from LOL, League of Legends, have you enjoyed recently? I haven't really gamed that much recently, unfortunately. I have played some Call of Duty since I've been home. I was separated from my PS3 when I was overseas, and I haven't had a lot of time, but I have played some more. I miss it. I'm terrible now. In the past, some of the games that I've been obsessed with have been, let's see, my first game was probably Fire Emblem. Way back when, when I had a GBA, back in the old days, it was like back when they were being translated into English and being sold. So, so old, but I was obsessed with those games. I played them all the time. I always have my GBA in my pocket. Let's see, what else have I been obsessed with? Nancy Drew. I was obsessed with Nancy Drew. I still enjoy those games, but I was really obsessed with them for quite a while. I own every single one except, I think, the last two. Oh, in the Super Smash Bros. phase. That lasted forever. He also asked a third question, how many times did you visit the HP studio when you were in the UK? And I'm really sad to say zero. That's probably my biggest regret from the time that I spent there, honestly. Before I ever went, that was the one thing that I just told myself, you have to do it at least once. And it never happened. I tried and I tried and plans got canceled. Someday. It is Jaden Fishy left me this wonderful message on Tumblr and also asked, if you don't mind me asking, what do you find the easiest way to edit or fix up, or whatever you call it, your videos? I use iMovie. It's a little clunky, I mean it's a free thing that came with the Mac, but I find it just works really well and I don't really have a lot of money to spend on Final Cut Pro or something really fancy that a lot of professional YouTubers will use. I would love it someday to be able to have something with a little more, I mean, iMovie has its limitations, it has plenty. But it's great for what I need to do, it does pretty much everything that I usually want to do, and I can work around the other things and sort of figure out a different way to do it. And for my video thumbnails, I use GIMP to edit things up, and that works really nicely. It has a lot of features that I can't really use because I don't quite understand how to use them, I'm not a graphic designer, but it's not too bad once you kind of figure it out. So iMovie is a little too simple for me, but it's okay. GIMP is a little too complex, but it works. And both are free, that's the key thing here. Those are all the questions that I'm going to answer today. Leave me some more in the comments, leave me some more on Tumblr, and I will do another one of these shortly. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you are having a fantastic start to the summer. A lot of people are graduating. It's a wonderful time. It's beautiful outside. It's really hot in my room, but that's okay. I'm going to turn the fan on. And I'm quite loving having all my spring and summer clothes out. I hope you're all doing well, and I will see you in my next video. Is this dress spring sunshine or moldy lemon? We will never know.